Hello and welcome back to the channel, my name is Kyle and today we are going to be talking about the 5 things that you should be doing at the start of every new club on Football Manager to give you the best chance of success. Let's go. So before we get into things, if you find this helpful in any way whatsoever, hit that like button down below, leave a comment, let me know how you feel and what things are really important to you when you first start a save on Football Manager or join a new club when it comes to a journeyman. And make sure you subscribe for more FM content. So the point of today's video is to discuss the, the five things that I feel are a necessity, a must do, when you join a new club on Football Manager. These are things that you'll be doing before you've even pressed continue. And these tips apply whether you're doing a journeyman, you've joined a new club, you're doing you know, a, a brand new save, whatever it may be. These are the things that I think you should really be concentrating on as soon as you hit that button and join a new club. Number one, league rules. So this is something that I think gets completely overlooked on Football Manager by a lot of people, especially if you're joining a country where you don't necessarily know the rules of the league. So you can break this down into a few areas. The first one would be the actual structure of the league. So what happens if you win the league? Do you get promoted? You know, is there a monetary value? Do you qualify for a European competition? Do you qualify for a continental competition if you're outside of Europe? Likewise, you finish at the bottom of the table. Do you get relegated? Is there a split halfway through the season? Is there playoffs? Who knows? You know, so these are the things you're really looking at. A massive thing as well is looking at the transfer rules. How many loanies can you have? Can you have loanies from abroad, from domestic clubs? How does that work? Because that can, you know, play into your hands later on in the save. What are the rules when it comes to, to foreign managers? If someone's from out with your country, is there certain rules you've got to follow? You know, with the UK there's the Brexit rules, but every country has its own specific rules. A good example of this, if we have a look at the rules for the Scottish League 2, where I'm currently managing Elgin City over on Twitch, link down below, you can see that the squad must have no more than two trialists per league game. Now this is something I wasn't aware of until we, we actually kicked off in the game and it took me a bit by surprise that I was able to play my trialists in a league game, which is massive. And again, this is something that if you have no money as a club, you know, you're, you don't have money to bring in players, you can not necessarily exploit it, but it's there to be taken advantage of. Number two, staff. Staff is a very crucial, crucial part of Football Manager. Any save that you do, your staff are very, very important. You know, as a manager, there's only so much you can do on your own. You need a good backroom staff to help you. And this is where this comes in. So as soon as you hit and accept that job, the first thing I'm looking at is who have I got in my backroom staff? If you're coming from another club, there's a chance you may have already reviewed this because you would be given the opportunity to bring over your own staff. But however, if you're coming into the team completely blind, you want to jump straight in there. So obviously your staff section is split into three parts. You've got your coaching team, your recruitment team, and your medical team. Take it one at a time. As you can see, the screen has a comparison of where you stand compared to the rest of the league with your coaches and this is a good barometer for how successful your team are going to be. So for example, if I'm coming into Elgin City here, I can see that Goalkeeping is below average, defence is below average, attacking below average but still not bad compared to the rest of our stats and it gives you an area to focus on. One of the most crucial things with staff as well is your responsibilities. So you're wanting to set your responsibilities for every single task. So whether you're a more hands-on manager, whether or not you find it easier to have you know, your assistant manager take over training, handle press conferences, etc. You play the game how you want it's important to go in and set those straight away so you're not leaving things to, to chance. Number three, your squad. Obviously when it comes to football manager, your squad is the most important thing <laughs> in the team because without a good squad, you know, you're not going to play well, you're not going to score goals, you're not going to win games. So you want to come in and have a look at your squad and look at where you stand compared to everyone else. How do you do that? Well, again, a, a screen that not a lot of people talk about is the comparison screen. So what you're wanting to do is come into the squad tab. Then you're going across to analyst report. Once you're there, just hit that drop down and select comparison. From here, what will happen is it'll show you where you stand for pretty much every stat possible for the team. So as you can see, it goes through general all positions, goalkeepers, defence, midfield, attack, physical, mental, technical, and you can go through this and kind of see where you stand as a team. As you can see with Elgin, we've currently got the highest finishing in the league, we've got the highest technique in the league, but we have the lowest marking. So these are things that you can really look at when you're sort of planning what you're doing going forward. Number four, tactics. So once you've got your team looked at the next 
step is to look at tactics. So what are you going to play? There's loads of tactics on Football Manager. Ultimately, it can be a bit overwhelming the first time you really come into it, especially if it's a new save. So the easiest thing to do here is use the game to your advantage. The game gives you presets. So let's have a look at what presets work for you. What you're wanting to do is you're wanting to come in um, and create your new tactic. If it's a brand new save or a brand new team, it's gonna automatically take you here when you open the tactics page. And then what you'll notice is next to your suited tactics, there's a wee thumbs up. And this is your backroom staff, mainly your assistant manager or, or something like that. They are going to tell you what formation is gonna work best or what style is gonna work best for you. So we look at this, maybe we select direct counter-attack. It gives you a breakdown of what the tactic is, what you know sort of mentality it's gonna have for the team. Then it'll let you choose a formation. And then again, you'll get recommended which formation works for you. So then you click on this, then easy peasy, you then pick which players you think are gonna work best for this role. If there's anything you don't like in terms of the actual tactic, you can then tweak it. This is the fun with Photo Manager. There's unlimited potential for what you can do with, with tactics and formations and all that sort of stuff. So, ultimately, that's what you want to do. You get an idea of what formation you want to use because that's important for our next point. Number five, transfers. And I'm not talking about signing everyone straight away. But what you should really be doing is planning for your transfers. So now that we've you know looked at the squad comparison, we know what stats that we're lacking in, we know what tactic we're going to use, and once you've built your tactic, you can kind of see what positions you could potentially look to improve on. So from here, you then look at what players you could potentially look at signing. There's multiple ways to go around transfers. I'm not going to go in depth with, with sort of a transfer analysis, but briefly going over the areas you want to look at for your transfers is you're wanting to get your scouts sorted, get in there, get them all assigned to the areas you're wanting to look at and the areas you're wanting to get an idea of, of certain players. From there, you can then even look at your director of football suggestions and don't worry, if you don't have a director of football, you'll still get some suggestions. So all you have to do there is this has moved for 2022, is you need to go into your transfers tab, then you come to director of football and hit suggest transfer targets. From there, you pick a position that you're wanting to look at, and then you pick whether it's a transfer, a loan, end of contract, or free transfer. And sometimes you'll get wee gems here that you wouldn't have even thought about bringing in previously. And again, this is where you need to use everything the game gives you to your advantage. So those are five things that I think are imperative before you even hit your first continue on a photo manager save or a new club and I hope that those things if you carry them out will lead you to success down the line because the most important thing is building a solid foundation for your save. So with that said if you guys found any of this helpful whatsoever hit that like button hit the subscribe button for more FM content and leave me a comment let me know what you want to see coming forward in terms of hints tips anything like that going forward I'd love to know what you think. If you want to see me streaming Photo Manager live you can follow me over on Twitch that's twitch.tv forward slash kylewhatuk link is down below and thank you very much for watching I will see you guys later peace.